So I, I would like you to uh, start until Dr. Jamila uh, gets ready. Uh, yes. So I want to, to uh, introduce Dr. Diana Mihai. Uh, Dr. Diana uh, is a gynecologist, obstetrician. She's a fertility doctor and a gynecologic aesthetic doctor from Bucharest, Romania. Uh, she's passionate about her uh, aesthetic uh, medicine field, founding member of the Romanian Society of Aesthetic Gynecology, and international speaker of the aesthetic and regenerative gynecology. She's a pioneer in the field in Romania and a uh, national trainer for the vaginal carbon dioxide laser and PRP use in gynecology. So she's going to talk about carbon dioxide laser vaginal rejuvenation. So uh, thank, you. Your, thank you very thank much. You very much. Uh, just one second, please. Let me see. Okay, you can see it. It's okay. Yes, it's, everything is clear. Yes, go oh. ahead. Okay, thank you. So, uh, good day, everyone. I am Dr. Diana Mihai, and I'm so happy to be here today and to see you all. So, thank you very much for your nice invitation. Uh, today, I have the honor to talk about rejuvenating the vaginal atrophic mucosa. And in order to highlight the results of the CO2 laser, I realized a systematic review of international studies. And I included 1,500 patients. I analyzed the results on one hand by the clinical and subjective patient's uh, point of view. And on the other hand, by the histopathological point of view, after taking small biopsies of the vaginal tissue of the treated patients to see the objective results. Uh, the results were very interesting and I want to share this information with you. So let's see how uh, effective is the CO2 fractional laser in the treatment of vaginal atrophy in menopause. As we know, vaginal atrophy is a condition due especially to the reduction of estrogen, which affects the uh, quality of life of an important number of women in menopause and perimenopause. In the picture, you can observe the histopathological aspect of the menopausal vaginal mucosa in the first image in comparison with the reproductive uh, aspect in the second image where there are multiple blood vessels, the epithelium has an important number of cellular layers rich in glycogen. How can um, we find out if our patients suffer from atrophy? Uh, first, it is a clinical exam, of course, but please do not forget that it is our uh, responsibility to always ask the patients about this and to help them to talk openly with us. Patients with atrophy often complain of vaginal dryness, burning, pain, itching, or bleeding after intercourse. We all have these patients, right, with the symptoms that are using creams or intravaginal ovules and they come back after the local treatment saying they are desperate that the symptoms disappear only on the treatment time. And after some days, the vaginal problems come right back and they are unhappy with their everyday activities and with their love life and with their doctors as well, eventually, because uh, the doctor does not fix the problem for a long term. At the same time, atrophy modifies the vaginal pH and recurrent genital and urinary infections, altered leukorrhea, dysuria, and even urinary incontinence may occur. All these are signs of the genital urinary syndrome of menopause. So, what can we do about that? We can prescribe more and more local treatment, of course, more creams, more hydrating products, more lubricants and uh, hormones. And we can supplement the lactobacilli population, of course, but patients are not very happy and not very compliant with long-term therapies that they must use day by day as uh, the menopause will not disappear, of course. So uh, how can we help them more efficiently? The most modern form of treatment for vaginal atrophy is the laser treatment. It is a safe, non-painful, quick procedure which can alleviate all the symptoms uh, encountered in uh, the vaginal, the menopausal genital urinary syndrome. And the effects last not for uh, one week or for one month, but for about one year. But uh, how does the laser work? The CO2 fractional laser gently and painlessly acts on the vaginal walls 
through a special scanner. This action creates microthermal lesions. By taking biopsies, it was seen that only one hour after the laser treatment, the epithelium begins to thicken and um, the connective tissue develops new blood vessels and new type 3 collagen fibers begin to form. The laser acts by stimulating fibroblasts, increasing the production of collagen and elastin. The stimulated fibroblasts reorganize the extracellular matrix, both by increasing the mechanical support of the connective tissue and by stimulating the growth and maturation of the epithelium as a result of the formation of the new blood vessels. Enhanced vaginal tissue may improve sexual function as well. However, laser, uh, vaginal laser rejuvenation in itself cannot guarantee better sexual uh, response since uh, desire, arousal, and uh, orgasms are complex, highly personal responses. But uh, I must tell you something uh, interesting, and even if it's uh, not the subject of the presentation now, that I have several patients that um, called me very impressed after the laser treatment, telling me, doctor, I had my first vaginal orgasm. I uh, did not know that this is even possible to me. I'm so very happy. So we can consider this as a positive side effect of the vaginal laser. Uh, in addition to this, the vaginal um, optimal pH will be restored with local flora rebalancing and decreasing genital and urinary symptoms. In this picture, you can see how to use a vaginal laser with a 360 degree vaginal probe that you have to enter and detract only once. It does not require multiple entry entries as we are talking here about women with uh, atrophy that are very sensible and the repeated entering and retraction may be painful to them as we can imagine. So uh, only one entry and the impulses are released systematically at each centimeter during the retraction. Uh, and obviously this means the treatment takes very little time as well. The, um, you will finish it in five minutes, the entire, entire um, therapy. Three laser uh, sessions are required, one at uh, four to six weeks apart. The device has predefined certain specifications on the intensity and mode of impulse distribution on the vaginal mucosa but it is recommended to personalize the treatment according to the patient's characteristics. I uh, always use different protocols depending on the patient for maximum efficacy and minimum risks. Laser treatment is uh, recommended for all patients with vaginal atrophy, the contraindications being the presence of infections and cervical or vulvovaginal dysplasia. Another question that you might have is, can you combine laser with other vaginal treatments? Uh, yes, you can combine it with uh, PRP, but not in the same uh, session. Uh, with PRP in the vaginal walls for better results on atrophy or on the clitoris or on the G-spot. If the patient wants to improve her intimate life as well, you can combine it with a high thumb like uh, Mcella chair if the patient has incontinence or laxity besides atrophy as well and with other um, uh, therapies, of course. So we saw how to use it and how it functions. But let's see how, what about the scientifically uh, clinical results, right? And um, I will further talk about these results in a moment because this is our main question. When using a treatment, how effective it really is. Agree? You can see in the image a part of the international studies that I took into consideration in order to have a response for these questions. Considering all this information, I had the curiosity to carry out this paper to evaluate the efficacy of the CO2 laser after international studies published in various specialist journals such as Menopause, Maturitas, Lasers in Medicine, European Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology and Reproductive Biology, Climacteric, etc. I included 11 studies with uh, 1,500 patients who performed three laser sessions, one at four to six weeks apart. 
In uh, the right part of the slide, you have different studies that I could not include because of the different designs they had. So I could not use them in order to calculate the results. But uh, it is interesting to see if you want to read more about this afterwards. Uh, but in the image below is uh, one of that studies, a study from Menopause uh, Journal that I found interesting and I just want to mention the conclusions. It is a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial for evaluating the efficacy of the fractional CO2 laser compared with topical estriol. In the treatment of vaginal atrophy, the patients were randomized in three arms, laser treatment, estriol treatment, and laser plus estriol treatment. It is an interesting setup, I think. So what were the results? Vaginal health index score was significantly higher in all three arms. This is a good result that we were all expecting, of course. But more interesting is uh, that the laser with estriol group presented significant improvement of total female sexual function index score, meaning the improvement of pain, desire, and lubrication. So the laser and the estriol group. Um, another interesting result is that the laser and the laser with estriol group showed a significant improvement of dyspareunia, burning, and dryness, while the estriol arm only the improvement of dryness with a p-value under 0.001. So it was an important statistically significant result. Uh, the laser improves dyspareunia, burning, and dryness, while estro estrogen only dryness. I think it's a nice finding. All studies included uh, by me had an initial examination before the treatment, one examination after each one of the free laser sessions, and some evaluations after 3, 6, 12, 18, and 24 months after the end of the treatment. I also included three histopathological studies in order to see the objective modifications of the vaginal mucosa after the laser treatment. I selected studies that use the same methods and scales to evaluate uh, the efficacy of the treatment in order to be able to calculate the final results. Uh, the scales um, used evaluated all the symptoms encountered in vaginal atrophy. So what were the results? Interestingly, all studies showed a significant improvement in patient symptoms and scores with a p-value that is uh, signif significant statistically and not only a p under 0 .00, 0 0.05, but uh, it is zero under 0 0.001. We can see that after free laser sessions, dryness and dyspareunia have improved by 70%, the burning and prurita sensation by 85%, and the feeling of laxity surprisingly by 90%. What about the satisfaction of the patients? Sorry. Um, how happy were they with the results? A very high number here. After uh, free laser sessions, 92% of the patients reporting being satisfied or very pleased with the results, keeping this percentage constant until six months after the treatment. At 12 months after the procedure, 82% of the patients were still very satisfied, the percentage dropping gradually at 18 months to 63% and to 25% at two years. Okay, so um, the patients were very happy, but this uh, may be subjective, right? I'm like uh, Dr. House, you know Dr. House, right? The patients uh, cannot be trusted. Patients only always lie, <laughs> so I'm like that. And I always like um, uh, to take into account the placebo effect, not uh, that I do not like and do not respect the placebo effect, but I just uh, want to know things for sure. So uh, what were the microscopic results that uh, can be not, that are not subjective, but they are objective results? The scientists took uh, small biopsies of the vaginal tissue before and after the treatment and studied them. And what did they observe? The results showed in all cases, remodeling of vaginal connective tissue without, important fact, without causing damaging to the surrounding tissues. By activation 
of the regenerative mechanisms with the formation of new blood vessels and new collagen fibers and the thickening of the vaginal epithelium. In conclusion, the morphological examinations support the efficacy of the laser therapy by restoring the vaginal mucosa structure and the physiological trophism. We can see here an example of a histopathological examination of a 54-year-old patient before and uh, after one and two laser uh, th uh, treatment sessions. She was in menopause for 10 years and has never used hormone replacement therapy that could have modified the results. The first image shows advanced atrophy with few cellular layers. One month after the first session, the thickening of the epithelium is observed, and after the second session, the effects gradually and steadily increase. The papules and blood vessels are observed, as in reproductive aged uh, patient. Here we have another patient, age 59, that has been in menopause for 11 years and the same has never used hormonal replacement therapy that could have influenced the results. We can observe in this uh, image that it's less severe atrophy. So uh, let's see if in case of mild atrophy, we observe results as well. As you can see in the image, picture B and C have much thicker epithelium, and even we can observe the shedding of numerous um, big cells from the surface together with the epithelium cells that are rich in glycogen. So we have very obvious results, and now I'm confident to formulate my conclusions. So what conclusions can we make considering that both clinical and histopathological studies support the use of CO2 laser in the treatment of vaginal atrophy. Perhaps it is a therapeutic method that should be looked at with more confidence. Okay, then great results. We are happy to see this, but what about the conclusions about the lasting of the results with regard to its long-term effect we can conclude that the effect can last up to two years, but the results last for maximum of uh, 12 months, then begin to decrease at 18 and 24 months. Interestingly, many patients, 80% of them, decided to carry out a new CO2 laser therapy after the effect was diminished, as they were extremely pleased with the results they had. I wish we have from now on more long-term studies and i encourage you all that use laser or any other treatment to always give patients questionnaires to be able to study our therapies and to study and evaluate our results but what can i say for sure is that if you're not using the laser you should consider it a therapy an effective way that should be used in the treatment of vaginal atrophy Thank you very much for your attention and your invitation to be here. Stay safe and hope to see you soon again.